composting with Trisha. Well, mixing in our food from the kitchen into our compost pile. We're trying to make dirt. All right, so you put the food in there. That's how you make dirt. I kind of want the stuff in the middle, but not too thick with all greens. It's actually a science to it, but we're just kind of winging it. Seems to be going well though, based on the smell. So. <laughs> Yay, compost. I mean, rough, but compost rocks. <laughs> These are the seeds that we're starting inside. Rock! And now for a seed planting time lapse. The bottom is supposed to be pretty clean. Ah, I see dirt. To there. Love them. Oh no, I'm losing dirt. Precious dirt. What are you gonna plant first? I guess I'll plant the sage first. It's on top. Cool. Mm -hmm. You got things to mark it with? I'm gonna go grab them. What's your uh, rule of thumb when you're planting? Uh, read the directions. That's good. What does it say for the sage? It says to put on top of the soil and then press in an eighth of an inch. And it says two to three weeks to sprout usually. Oh wow, that's put a minute. Put in a bright window seal. Let's just put those in the greenhouse maybe. Yep. Radishes and green onions. What does the radish say? Well... It says mm -hmm. six inches. Hmm. What does it really say? I don't see it. Oh, oh, half an inch, so depth. Mm, six inch spacing <sighs> between rows and two inches between each plant. But we'll worry about that later. Half an inch is the key here, I think. How deep does the soil prefer to be, you know? We want to give it the optimal opportunity for life. <laughs> 